In this work, we present an interaction framework for tilt-based interfaces and a series of findings that characterize the limits and capabilities of this new interaction mode. Tilt-based interfaces are becoming increasingly commonplace. The Nintendo Wii uses a handheld tilt sensor as the primary interaction device for games. Tilt sensors have many promising applications on handheld devices, such as unique interaction for games and as orientation sensors that automatically rotate images and video. We propose a framework for tilt-based interaction that identifies five main factors that can influence performance. These are the axes of wrist interaction and their range of motion, the method of control, rate or position based, the discretization of raw tilt sensor values, the selection mechanism, and the method of feedback. In this work, we concentrate on characterizing the dexterity of movement and on evaluating methods of discretizing raw tilt values. Bending the wrist is known as flexion extension. On average, the maximum flexion angle is 60 degrees. Extension is the opposite movement and has an average maximum range of 45 degrees. Wrist rotation is known as pronation and supination. The average maximum range of movement for this axis is 125 degrees. The third axis of wrist movement is ulnar and radial deviation, with an average maximum range of motion of 15 and 30 degrees, respectively. Raw tilt sensor readings are generally continuous, either as a degree of tilt or a measurement of gravity. To be used as discrete input, the raw values must be manipulated, and there are several ways to accomplish this, including a straight linear division into discrete blocks or various nonlinear relationships, such as the quadratic and sigmoid functions. In our study, we asked users to select a target using the tilt sensor by placing the PDA in a specific orientation, pressing a button on the PDA screen with their thumb, tilting the PDA until it reaches the correct position, and then releasing the button. Users perform the task repeatedly for each wrist axis in both directions with local and remote feedback and with varying target widths and locations. The studies revealed several interesting facts about tilt control. We experimentally determined the practical limit on target width and the number of controllable levels for each axis. We found that using a quadratic discretization function significantly improves targeting performance in terms of time and number of errors. Users found it much easier to select a target when the system used this function. And interestingly, we found that in general there was no preference for the direction of movement, that no part of the range of motion was easier to move to than any other, and finally we observed similar performance with remote and local feedback. In this video and the accompanying paper, we presented a framework for wrist-based interaction. We characterized the dexterity of wrist movement, tested several discretization methods and found empirical support for the quadratic function, and lastly we presented alternative designs for existing techniques that can be improved with our results. Tilt-based interaction is a wide and important area, and the foundations presented in this work will help inform the design of future techniques.